So this is from the first book, and it's the beginning. It's my mother talking, actually. I never called my father dad. In order to call one someone dad, you need to have known him since your childhood, climbed up his knees, played hide and seek with him, heard his voice and woken him up in the middle of the night. Or at least, you need to have burped out all your supper on his face at least once in your life. I never did a single one of these things. Two months separate our lives. He died on November the 30th. I was born on February the 11th. Ironically, I was born two months prematurely. I hurried up, but even so, it was too late. I couldn't catch him. My father was for me the air I moved as I walked. He was in the eyes of those who knew him and stared at me, looking for him. He was a pair of silvery eyes in black and white pictures, sewn initials on silky shirts, lighters, luggages, and old trunks. I looked for him in the notes of Vecchio Frac, the song uh, by Domenico Modugno, that Domenico Modugno wrote in his memory. He was featured in a musical comedy written by Gainea Giovannini. I could read about him in three distinct novels and in many short stories, yet I could not grasp him. Once I chanced into a video on the internet, Raimondo crossed the screen for as little as two seconds, wide, energetic, vivid moves, it was the first time I saw him moving. It was a shock. You don't imagine myth walking amongst mortals, do you? I'm not exaggerating when I speak of myth. For a relatively small town like Palermo, Raimondo was and still is a legend. As proof of that are the idioms that still circulate after over 60 years. When somebody dresses up with unusual elegance, people tease him saying, ma che ti sei vestito come un lanza? You dressed up like lanza. Or in a Magritian, surreal and downright vulgar expression, la minchia dei lanza non è minchia. Lanza cock is not a cock. Above all, Raimondo was an endless tale of anecdotes, stories, pranks, extravagance, wide parties. This is to say fragments, shreds of life, passed from mouth to mouth so many times that probably uh, contained a minimum amount of truth. If all the stories I heard added up to the legend, they would not give me back the man, his life, his soul. It also happened that these stories depicted a second-rate Don Giovanni, a cartoon character, a shallow womanizer, which he was, yet Raimondo, had sown amazement and longings throughout his life, 50 years after his death, death, I did not find anyone who had met him who could not tell me the exact time, place, and circumstances of their first encounter.